Today we're talking about home staging with Sam McDaddy. Sam, I know there's a lot of people that think that they're doing home staging or they've home staged themselves, but there's the right way and the wrong way. Is that not right? Absolutely. We think it's vital to have a person who's qualified to actually stage your house, otherwise you're doing yourself a disservice. Now, what should you be looking for when you look for somebody to home stage? Qualifications are essential. In fact, if they have the Canadian staging professional designation, that goes a long way to show they've actually taken the steps to qualify to be a stager. Now, who do you use? We use a lady who's outstanding. Her name is Sandra Diab. She's actually an interior decorator as well, and she is certified, and in my opinion, she's second to none. So Sandra, Sam tells me that you are the expert in your field of home staging and decor. Uh, what are the absolute essential things that somebody must do when it comes to preparing the house for sale? Well, it's bringing it right down to basics. The three most important things is clean, declutter and depersonalize, and attend to all your minor repairs. Okay. Cleaning, so when you're talking about cleaning, you mean like a good spring cleaning? Get a in there. good spring cleaning. You know what? Take a look at your ceilings, the cobwebs, your windows, your door frames, baseboards. Get right down and clean. If you have to steam clean your carpet, steam clean your carpet because everyone's definition of clean is different. So create a space that almost looks like a model home clean, like it's not lived in. Never clean. lived in. Yeah. And, and then when you said declutter and depersonalize, are you, you hear, should you take your personal pictures down? It's hard to live that way. I know. I tell my clients to start packing. Pack early and it's an opportunity to neutralize your space and to declutter your home by doing so. Do people really notice the little paint chip out of the wall down low in the corner? They do. They do. When you walk into a home, that's what you're looking for. You're looking at the bones of the home and you will notice that screen door that has a hole in it. You'll open cupboards and you'll notice if it's not opening easily, if that knob is missing, if the sink is dripping. Absolutely. And if you don't attend to it, then you're leaving the potential buyer thinking, well, what else haven't they cared for? But Sandra, what do you do with the client whose furniture is really dated? I mean, this is more than just putting some paint on the wall. Like it really changes the look of the home. Well, what we recommend in situations like that is to consider renting some storage space or if you have some room in your garage where you can neatly tuck them away. Sam McDaddy has a warehouse full of inventory that we can select from and accessories and we'll bring in and we'll furnish the space um, as need be. Wow, that's a great service. So, and you oversee all of this and right down to the minor, minor details? Absolutely. So every room will be assessed, every home. Every home needs something different and uh, we will assess it based on the target market and what's most necessary for that space. Sandra, who do you do this home staging for? Is this really just for the higher end homes, higher priced homes? Working with Team McDaddy makes staging affordable for everybody. Whether you're living in a one-bedroom condo or a multi-million dollar home, it doesn't matter. If you need staging, the service is available. That's good to know, Sandra. Now, is there anything that somebody shouldn't do when it comes to home staging? Sheila, my biggest advice would be take your time and don't rush. Prepare your home for sale. It's one of the biggest investments that you have and you want to ensure that it is perfectly ready to go on the market. Makes a lot of sense, Sandra. Thank you for all the advice and tips today. Thank you, Sheila. If you'd like more information about the McDaddy Team's staging plan, go to mcdaddy.com. Keeping you informed, I'm Sheila Clark, and you've been watching Daily Web TV.